Hey, this is Walt with Ray Buck Auto Body Parts, and today we're working on our small block Chevy for the '67 Chevy pickup. Um, wanted to show you something. Uh, we have, sell a product on the website called Rust Release. Um, it is a biodegradable liquid that you can put parts in and helps remove rust. Uh, product works very, very well. Uh, we've used it on quite a few things. It works best, and it is designed for the parts to be submerged in and it helps pull that rust and everything off. So I wanted to show you what I was doing on this engine block. We got this old engine block, or it's actually a complete motor, but as you can see, you know, this thing's got a lot of, a lot of rust on it. Uh, it's, a, it's a good block, all the, all the internal, you know, surfaces are good. It's just really crusty on the outside. And when I opened it up and looked inside the cylinders, um, you could see a lot of a lot of rust like inside the water passages so I d decided to give the rust release a try and uh, I put it in there let it sit overnight I kind of tilt tilt the motor on its side so it would get up into the top of the cylinders now it's kind of hard to see but let's see let's show you if my light would work. Okay, so you can see, I can't do it too close. Inside that water jacket, you can see the typical kind of rust that you get in there. Now, if you look inside, let's see if I can get a good light in there. It's hard to see. You can see better up here. Um, if you look inside these water jackets, they are basically clean iron um, and that's because of that I had the motor sitting overnight with the rust release in this side of the block and basically it's you know it's, it's taking it back down to bare metal um, you don't have all that heavy crust and rust in there which something like that can can really affect like the cooling of an engine um, you have all that junk in there not only the cooling of the engine but gets into the, that junk eventually comes out and gets into the radiator can plug a radiator um, plus just that basically is corrosion in there um, so you want to try and get all that out so what i did like i said i i have it on this engine stand so i'm kind of tilting it because i should have thought of it prior but taking the cylinder heads off in the water pump everything just wants to run out so i put a cylinder head back on it turned it on one side and filled it, filled that side up so essentially it was sitting kind of like this but with the cylinder head on it so that you know this side could fill up now again I was limited because I didn't have a water pump on it so it only only went so far but for the most part um, it's kind of hard to see but yeah those cylinders are pretty clean um, so what I'm going to do is take it out into the driveway and just you know just squirt these water jackets out some just with the hose and clean all that other residue out of there um, just so it's nice and clean this block will get hot tanked and you know everything done to it but at least you know it helped to remove all that out of there and I don't know if you can see this but the rust release The rust release is, is clear, essentially. It has a little bit of a yellow, yellowish tint to it, but it's essentially clear. So this is what the rust release looked like when I put it in, and that is what it looks like when it comes out. It basically takes all that rust and just slowly dissolves it. It doesn't come out necessarily in, you know, like chunks, but it comes out in this dark black liquid with just like a bunch of sediment in it. So it just basically breaks the rust down. So if you have any parts that you can take off your vehicle, you know, submerge them in this liquid, leave them overnight, and it works very well. So just a little tip and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we will be having some more updates on the truck, this motor, and um, that's it. Thanks.